murder your husband. She's now on trial for doing just that. Alex Capriello is live with this twisted story. Alex. Yeah, good morning to you, Adrian. Nancy Brophy has written a handful of romance mystery novels you might still be able to find on bookshelves, but it is that 2011 blog post, How to Murder Your Husband, that's really captured the attention of Americans. That now stands on trial, accused of doing just that, shooting and killing beloved chef Dan Brophy. 71-year-old Nancy Brophy sat quietly during the opening statements in her murder trial. But the novelist will soon be asked to speak when she takes the stand to defend herself against accusations that she shot and killed her husband to collect a $1.4 million life insurance purse. The romance novelist has a collection of titles on shelves, but it's the disturbing details in her blog post that sends chills. In a fictional column penned seven years before her husband's death, titled How to Murder Your Husband, Brophy wrote, quote, I find it easier to wish people dead than to actually kill them, but every one of us has it in them when pushed far enough. State prosecutors now lay out the motive of Daniel Brophy's real-life murder. Nancy made claims on 10 separate life insurance policies in which she was the beneficiary of over $1.4 million. Investigators uncovered an extensive internet search history in which Brophy bought a 9mm gun, parts, and assembly kit. Authorities concluded her husband was shot twice with 9mm bullets. But the defense argues the two had a loving relationship and the gun purchases were openly agreed upon between the couple. After his death, the defense says Brophy was consumed with grief. It was like they had been married for a hundred years. Each of them talked so positively about the other. They accepted each other. They supported each other. They obviously enjoyed each other's company. Brophy is to remain behind bars until the trial concludes. Interestingly, the judge is not going to allow that blog post into evidence during this trial. He doesn't want the jury to confuse the fiction of the blog post with the actual facts of this case. Adrian. Yeah, life imitating art for sure. Alex, thank you. Still ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.